Hi uh, and welcome. This video is different from usual as it is largely uh, scripted. I had a chance of flying a couple of evenings to test the new M54 Phoenix and get rid of some rust. I made a ton of errors, so since analyzing errors is the best way to learn and improve, here we are. This is a sort of debriefing, a chat about the missile, the avionics, the situational awareness, and all those factors that lead to the decision of taking a shot. I hope you will find it useful. Uh, let's begin. Yeah, I mean, we're going to probably defend him from uh, A120. There's a bad guy chasing the friendly. So we can wait for the friendly to die and then we do something. Yeah. Or we can go and kill the MiG 25. Uh, so, situation we were engaged in the western part of the map, feet wet, and we were now returning between weapon one and weapon two. This is the our cap track here that we decided to monitor because south of this part was hostile territory. And whilst coming back, we this we noticed these engagement between friendlies and hostile. So, initially, we decided to turn around them from the north, but um, uh, later we changed our mind and decided that would have been better to support our friendly that was engaging and the idea was in case the friendly employed and then turn out north we would have been ready go for the fox back that's probably right, the right, right, uh, give me 30 degrees to the right he's diving down though he's doing down he's doing down so a few issues now in premise, I forgot to reset the radar after the previous engagement, something that should be done because it saves, you know, distraction, uh, potential loss of awareness, as it happened in this case, because I wasn't ready to react. Now, we notice that there is no correlation between this target. This is the MiG-21, MiG-25. There is no correlation between the location of this uh, return and the DDD. I would have you know, expected something in this area. But it's actually nothing. Meaning, normally the time between the disappearance of the trace and the uh, appearance of an extrapolated track is about six seconds. So in a few seconds, I expect this target to disappear. At that point, I need to act and try to find the target again. Now, a quick look at the uh, DDD. I'm in beam. Means that the it means that the melocluster area is up here. It has to go down. Melocluster is. 133 plus minus knots, so it's 266 uh, knots wide. Everything that enters in this area, impulse Doppler disappears, unless we change the geometry or we action the mail up clutter switch up here, set it off. Or it's automatically de disabled if we are looking up plus three degrees at least. The only thing that the, the setting does not show is the zero Doppler. So the zero Doppler goes up and down depending on the speed of the F-14. In this case, it should be pretty much in this area, I suppose. And is zero Doppler filter is plus minus 100 knots. So it should be around this area. Uh, the problem with the zero Doppler is that we can't really do anything about it besides ch changing the geometry or the render mode, switching to low PRF pools. The last point, uh, our speed, our altitude. So now we are traveling at Mach 0.6 at an altitude of only 25k, or 1000 feet, or Angel 25. So considering the short study of the new missile that they made, uh, the evaluation of the energy, this is bad. This is really bad. The new Phoenix loves being high, especially high rather than fast. And this is not, these parameters don't match many of these uh, uh, sweet spots. On the contrary, I tested employing my, at Mach 0.9-ish at 25, 30,000 feet and between 15 and 25 nautical miles, the performance were pretty awful. Working as a crew, as a team, is important. So this is time where the pilot can suggest, should we go buster, should we go gate, should we unload and get some speed? No. What was he doing? Oh, I lost it. I lost it. I don't know if he disappeared. Okay, I have a new contact now. Who's this guy? Is 
disappear again. Let's see, now it's back. No FF. Yeah, he's down in the weeds. Okay, that's all still. 50 miles. Uh, give me Master Ramon. Hey. Go burner. Ramon. We are at 0 06, burner. we are too slow. P put some juice. Yeah, I'll level up as well. Let's yeah. get some speed. Let's get to at least point 0.8, 25 miles. Yeah. Uh, fuck's sake. Okay, switch to Sparrow. Uh, crank Let's left. Crank left. Okay, I'll go to Windsor Sparrow. Or yep. Like this. No, 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 what's the deal? Uh, what? Uh. Okay, n nose down. Put the nose down. Let's get down. Okay, a bunch of problems here. In premise, the crank was, the maneuver was way too hard and it caused the, lo the track to be lost almost right away. There was a quite an hefty amount of lag as well and that probably didn't help either. On the other end, the new Phoenix uh, Charlie is capable of activating itself. It means that the missile is not being guided anymore by the WCS, but it can still be dangerous. I already lost the, the track, so let's put the nose down. I'll go out burner as well, save some fuel. Yeah, let's go down to a thousand feet. A thousand? Yeah, yeah, yeah this guy is just, he's right below us. I'm very concerned about him popping up. Yeah, quickly, quickly, okay. because he's very close. Right a bit more. Can't get it, I can't get it. Or maybe. Yeah, got it. Put it on the nose. Wait. Nine miles. Okay, Fox one. Fox one. <laughs> okay, can't left. Left. Yeah. Is a uh, yeah, Fox one coming out. Switch okay. to uh, uh, Sidewinder, Sidewinder. Uh, flare. So a lot of things going on here. So missile, I supported it until uh, April, and then I dropped it. Probably wasn't even necessary uh, as long as I maintained the extrapolated, but for good measure, because I expected the target to be to still be pretty much in the same area. And in fact, there it was. The first thing I tried right after is to acquire the target again in STT to uh, employ the sparrow. Uh, I wasn't able the first time. I managed to lock from the DDD, but I lost, uh, I lost the target again when he notched. Pulse Doppler STT is a very strong uh, lock, but I still suffer from the mail-up clutter. Good thing to do is disabling the MSC. And that makes the STT lock much more, much stronger. And since it's STT, the ground returns has, are not that big of a deal. So the situation can be seen even better from TAC view. You can notice the, the, the peculiar pattern of the MIG. And I was turning into the target, cranking, and the ATA was pretty high, so we couldn't really crank anymore. And this up and down of the MIG caused a few issues in maintaining the target. At this point, we have the MIG defending. He actually tried to launch as a, a missile as well. Pilot, great job, spotted it, dropped some chefs, just for some flares for good measure because the other blow was silent, so we expected an IR. So at this point, our bray, our lock was uh, broken by the AI, but the target is defending, and we are fairly close, four miles, and we are coming in relatively fast now. Ah, uh, I lost lock. Hello. You got him? I got something. Fox two. Three miles and a half. Okay. Fox two. He's coming in this direction. He's popping up nose. Okay, oh, good kick. Okay. Alright. Let's dead. go let's go Buster uh, north west. So okay. So let's now have a look at the second shot. On paper, it doesn't look like anything special. Uh, we've been tasked to get this guy, which is a MiG-25. The geometry is not ex excellent at all. We have target aspect pretty high, 23 left. 
but the target is very high and especially very fast. Disclosure rate at these angles is quite something. We can see it clearly on the DDD. But still it's not coming for us. Okay, come left to study one four zero. One four zero, okay. Optimize. Ready for exit. Another one for exit. Okay. Uh, kill the throttle. Uh, crack left. Uh, five degrees more. Game plan. We are getting close to twenty-five miles. Target aspect is going down because I decided to place the target in a slightly more hot position than collision. So it's going down a little bit, but considering the range and the closure rate that is crazy, I don't have a lot of time to maneuver and adjust the geometry. We are still quite slow, but attitude is decent. Again, the point of this engagement is making the target do the hard work for us. And it's really incredible that the closure went even uh, went up even more. And again, you can clearly see it from the TDD. If you consider that the when you have two targets set on VC is in the sum pretty much if we want to simplify of the two speeds when you have different different geometry actually one that is pretty bad so we're not nowhere nearly close to be add on V1 V2 VC is much less than the sum of the two, you can realize that this guy is going crazy fast. And this is one of the assumptions that you can make. Thank you, more. Just to put it a bit of... Steady up, steady, 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 steady. Yeah, there you are. Oh, shit. I've lost it. Okay, steady up. No, no, it's fine. fine. Steady up, steady, steady. Yeah. It's fine. 55, it's fine. So, it's an awful shot because of the geometry. But the guy is coming oh. in, in our direction. So, so you think you'll be flying yeah. into it? Yeah, exactly. 20 to 10, bit more right into it, so you don't lose it. Yeah, 5 degrees. Right to move right. And be ready to uh, skate. Okay, uh, hard left, uh, go north. Hard left, go north. The missile is now active, and we are going out north. You may have noticed that I didn't center the Tarquas Can centroid. So when I was in this position, Find this direction, the target probably was somewhere here, considering it's much faster. Going in this direction, the antenna turn angle was something along this line, and this is the ATA, so the antenna turn angle, which is the relative bearing here on the side. Uh, what I should have done is probably turn into lead collision at least. Uh, following the, the books, so half of the ATA turning about 20, 25 degrees on this side. So the missile, rather than, uh, let's clear it up, rather than following this trajectory, it would have followed a more direct uh, route. Now, technically, you can center, you can use the centroid in Tarqua Scan. The problem with Tarqua Scan is that it tries to include uh, every target in the area. Now, in this case, there was only one. Now one skating north. I should have. I mean, the call. This is not the correct call. Should we? Should they? Should be the plan. So is that night one? Who splashed? Night. Twenty. No, ten degrees more to the left. Steady up. Zero one zero. Zero one zero. Yeah. Steady up. Uh, okay, I've gone cold power. No, no, full, full. Segate, yeah. segate, segate, segate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight. We need to push. I'll stay at 20 or do we need to keep climbing? Uh, go up, go up. After the previous engagements, we were down to one A54 Phoenix, one AM7 Sparrow, and Sidewanders. And uh, while whilst we were turning back, we were tasked by the uh, controller to go and save this guy, which is an A10. Human A10, chased by two AI MiG 23. There are many ways to play this situation. What I decided to do is uh, employ a 54 on the first one and an M7 on the second one. The idea was creating a geometry that allowed me to employ a Phoenix on the first one without putting too much 
in danger the friendly A10. So what I decided to do is try to capture or at least maintain the target aspect which is, which is left 28 at the moment. The priority is saving the friendly so if I don't kill the first one is fine I need to push through pushing into defensive. I have the chance to shoot the second missile and then we'll see. We'll deal with whatever is left. Now pay attention to this guy because he will come back later to help us, so to speak. I visual on something, two o'clock live. Um, you had friendly A10 and Angels at 11, hostiles are currently at Angels. And Fox 3. Hey. Nice one, one Fox 3. And, okay. Put them on the nose now. No, actually, stay, stay here. Stay here, yeah. stay here. This is Sparrow. Sparrow. Yep. I'm ready to lock the one behind it. Okay, I'll go gates. Oh, okay. keep the speed up. Okay, speed up. Oh, we're gonna blast right through him, man. Yep. Hopefully we they we got a hopefully we get a good splash. I'm head back. And then yeah, we, uh, we kill the, the uh, trailer. Uh, 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 do you want me to put him on the nose? No, wait, wait again. We have one sparrow left. That's the last fuel we got. got He's fine. Too. He's fine. Uh, fuel eight point seven, eight point six. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Of course. Okay, on the nose now, to the right. On the nose, right. Okay, active, one, steady up, steady up. Five, okay. Uh, Get me a lock. I need to reset the radar. Steady, 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 and by. Okay. I lost the first one. Locking on the trail. Okay, I'll put center up two. Yep. At MIS we Fox one. Okay. And as soon as the M54 went active, I turned uh, and put the, the other target on the nose. Pilot centered up the T, brilliant. And but what why I did that, the point was flying very close to the A10 because the M the MiGs were chasing it. Kind of forced them into the geometry that I wanted. So at the moment we can see on the TID we're basically dead ahead, head on. Closure, not brilliant, but it's good. We have fairly, fairly close attitude, 21,000 against, against 19. We were pretty fast at this point because it was, we were still in, in Buster, if I remember correctly. The target at that point was a bit slower. But our range is going down nicely. Target aspect is one degree right. So brilliant, we carried on this way. Uh, this time I remember to finally place the MSC off. Meaning, I am pushed Doppler, MSC off, the lock now is very very strong, it can be defeated by, yeah, terrain of course, but the only, the only issue is the zero per filter. Right left. No, stay, stay, switch guns, ready to, to engage. Uh, now okay. your throttle, it's all yours now. Okay. I'm in tower. Either one. Okay. Keep it centered. Six miles. Give me a lock and, uh, still uh, for guns. He is going right and uh, low. I see him. He's yeah, on my yeah, nose. Yeah, yeah. Follow Both. it, follow it, follow it. Follow yeah, it. Keep it on the nose. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, splashed. Wait, hold on. Image 911. Flogger one, one, splashed. Must be a second guy, shouldn't there? No, that was the second. 1566. Yeah, is he gonna defend it? We splashed our target, the MiG-23 with the M7, but we lost awareness, there was a bit of confusion, there was no indication on the RWR, but then via data link, data link and the controller, we found the second MiG-23, we proceeded into the merge. Since this was, a, this was a casual evening, took it easy, I told my pilot to just focus on taking the shot, in, and I advised him on range and speed, but again, in a very casual way. Sidewinder, no. Uh, there is a dog merged. Put you in a VSL look. Cheers. See if I get a snapshot on my ass. Yep. That is right on my nose. Yep. Put in VSL light. Oh, Got it. 
probably to go for a snapshot. Uh, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. You can maneuver much better than him. Keep the speed high, we have 400 knots. Relax. A bit too quick. Range at 0 7. I'll try and go lead the uh, lead pursuit. If he was doing smart, he would just sod off, just gun it. We have a lot of fuel, we are very fast, so take it easy, take it, take your time, take your shot. Whenever you are ready. Oh shit, what was that? Fuck. We had a friendly behind us. Hopefully. Well, oh, we've, been, we've been shot friendly fired, haven't we? Fuck, you know, tell me, tell me no, because I fucking hate it. Ah, fuck's sake. We've been friendly fired, haven't we? And so, yeah, this is how our evening finished. Blew up by an A10. We were tasked to go support and defend. So, textbook example of why you don't shoot a missile in a merge. Because missiles tend to go wherever they want, even Fox 1. But in this case, the M9 uh, was flying towards the MiG, MiG turned hot, so the exhausts were kind of hidden. We were flanking and we hit the missile with the results that you see on the screen. In 23, 24 years of online uh, gaming, I haven't scored an air-to-air blue and blue yet. It will happen, but not today. So, yeah, just be careful. Don't shoot missiles in a merge. It doesn't really take much. It's literally a tiny bit of awareness. And that's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this different approach. I'll try to make it a bit more constructed next time, a bit more focused, but it was very short on time. Thanks again for watching. So long.